Welcome to the George Show. We are now in Surrey, driving home from Timberlands Park. We had a really nice day at a lake in the middle of the city. And we'll have a video up on that soon. Abby has been a good girl. She's been playing in the grass and running after... Actually, she wasn't running after anything, but she was giving Daddy a massage while he was laying on the grass. She's tired now. She's very tired. So today is Sunday, and it is the last day of July, July 31st. Next, tomorrow is my brother's birthday, August 1st. And in September, a month later, it'll be my birthday! Yay, and there was much rejoicing. Yeah, you're I'm one ready. year older, hopefully one year wiser. And uh, what do I have to share in wisdom? It's really hard to make money. <laughs> as if anyone doesn't know that. But starting a business, uh, TGN, that's been something we've been trying to work on for the past three years. We've changed focus so many times, and here we go. Um, we finally found a focus that works, YouTube, and we expect to break, you know, hit our break-even point at the end of October. But wisdom is, if you want to be an entrepreneur, find yourself at least one partner. It is so difficult to get anything done alone. In fact, I've learned, for me, um, what was the phrase that I normally come up with? You can't do anything meaningful alone. And I hold that true. Um, so that's why I have a team now, and we have a lot of people working together to build TGN. It's not just myself. What other interesting things. Today we saw some ducks. Today we went shopping and I got a little upset with my wife because she was buying more things than I thought we needed. And sorry Xiaoyu, I didn't mean to get impatient with you. Can you forgive me? Mm, I don't know. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> well, we went to actually two parks today. Uh, one was the Royal Kennedy Park also in Surrey. It was a very small park, not very exciting, and in fact, we're passing that park on our way home right now. So you want to show the park? Where? Oh, it's there. <laughs> That's the park we were at earlier today, and it's just a lot of big grass fields and a playground that's actually really well maintained, really new, but there isn't much else there. There's also a pool, but Abby's too small for the pool. So, after we get home, we're going to take a nice hot bath and get to work. We have so many things to do. Annotations! Yay! Not so much fun, but necessary to get more views. That's our tagline at TGN, get more views. Annotations, if you don't know, are those overlays, the clickable rectangles on top of videos as they're playing on YouTube that direct people to other videos. You wanted to look at Abby? Abby? No, oh. it looked like you were wanting to change the camera. Oh, okay. Go go. Go Abby. Okay, can you clean it? Throw it on the floor. Not at Mimi. Not at Maybe <laughs> Not at your at sister. Front. Okay. Yeah. Up ahead is the steepest part of any place I know by car and it's excellent for exercise although I've never ran up the hill but I imagine it would be and we're coming up to that hill right now we actually have a very nice view of Surrey from the top of the hill but going down it feels like you're coming off a cliff here we go oh no we're gonna fall okay it's not that bad but it's nice. pretty steep uh, in fact, it's the most steep I've ever driven on. Actually, that's not true. San Francisco has hills oh, as steep as this and even steeper. I don't know how people park on these kinds of hills because... Whoa! Okay, whoa, okay, was... I can feel it a little bit. <laughs> uh, but here in, uh, in Vancouver, hills of this nature are not common. Or hills this steep are not common. So. I want to talk a little about a little bit about. Hmm. Oh, big truck! 
So wow. I want to talk a little bit about IGN. IGN, if you don't know, is an enormous company that has websites as well as videos. They have the Daily Fix with a very attractive female host, which we don't have, sit, uh, sharing the game news every day. And IGN recently started creating one channel per game. They have a Call of Duty IGN channel. They have, um, you know, I actually don't know what other games they have. I'd be just listing games randomly, but if you go to their IGN homepage, you'll see one channel per game in their subscription box. And I wish they would actually pay attention to what we were doing because we tried that. It doesn't work. <laughs> IGN, if you're listening to this, or yeah, IGN, if you're listening to this, stop it. You will discover that it's impossible to maintain a strong subscriber base and view count on so many independent channels. You need to have hub channels where you collect a lot of games into one place. But I know you're not going to see this, and I know you're going to keep doing the one game per, uh, one channel per game strategy, and only later will you realize it's a mistake. We did that. We had 50 channels, more than 50 channels, for more than 50 games. And we only had maybe four out of all of those 50 generate any kind of reasonable views. And in fact, only one, the World of Warcraft channel, um, is the one we're keeping. All of the others we are centralizing into the TGN channel, into shows, which are like channels within channels. So, IGN, wake up! <laughs> um, I also want to talk a little bit about Machinima. So, we've been working very hard with our partner Viso to try to match Machinima's payout levels for our directors. Sadly, it's not going to happen in the first three months. We will probably pay out half of what Machinima pays out to its directors after, in about six months, so three months after our first payout, um, I think we will get to about 75% of Machinima's uh, payout, and then six months total, like three months after that, I think we'll match Machinima's payout of two dollars per thousand views. And the reason it takes that long to ramp up is because we need to get ad buys. Our partner Viso needs to uh, find advertisers willing to put premium ad buys onto our gameplay videos like MTV or Coca-Cola or the NBA. And we also need to get into the YouTube Most Trusted Partners list, which is something reserved for a very select few channels. And if you are accepted, you get the YouTube sales team representing your inventory, uh, which is also how Machinima is able to pay out as much as they do, um, because their channels are in the YouTube Most Trusted Partners list, and they are able to secure ad buys. I mean, they've been doing this for five years now, so it's no surprise that they've built that up. We've had our partnership with Viso for two months, and the fact that we're able to pay 50% of what Machinima pays out right away, I think that's amazing. I'm so happy that we've made this deal with, uh, with Viso. Um, otherwise, we'd still be floundering as an independent YouTube partner channel with a dollar per thousand views, or a dollar fifty on a good day. But that's how most people are working. You know, they're under the illusion that as soon as they get YouTube Partner, they're going to be able to make so much money. And it's a false illusion because you get the YouTube lowest paying filler ads. The stuff that gets on AdWords.com and your take will never be more than a dollar-ish, between a dollar to a dollar fifty. Uh, so if you are starting your own channel or you have a popular channel and you're waiting for that YouTube partnership like we were, we were waiting for it. We thought we could make a lot more money than if we partnered with somebody else. Uh, you're going to be very disappointed. Now, you can choose not to believe me and you'll figure it out yourself, but I tell you, we've spent six months trying to make money as a YouTube partner, and those entire six months, we were making like 200,000 views a day, and 200,000 views a day was worth about $20 a day. Not that much. So, 
Oh, actually, no, wait, sorry. 200,000 views a day is worth about $200 a day. It's about a dollar per thousand views. Are you dumb? <laughs> so that's my words of wisdom today in my George video log. And my wife is saying how boring this is. I hope you find something a little more interesting than uh, my wife here. But if you find it boring, tell me in the comments below this video. I certainly want to hear uh, if you think I need to talk about more interesting things. Okay. So this has been George. We are almost home and see you next time.